case for the Hall of Fame, Rod Brindamore. Rod Brindamore had an impressive playing career that spanned 21 seasons in the NHL, which saw him play for the St. Louis Blues, Philadelphia Flyers, and Carolina Hurricanes. While many people may argue that Brindamore doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, because while being a solid two-way center, he seldomly would bring fans out of his seat with his skill. Brindamore quickly established himself as a reliable two-way center in the league and became known for his leadership and durability in his career. In this episode of Case for the Hall of Fame, I explain why Rod Brindamore should be in the Hall of Fame. Rod Brindamore was drafted 9th overall in the 1988 NHL Draft by the St. Louis Blues. Brindamore quickly established himself as a hard-working two-way forward. In his rookie season, the 1989-90 season, he put up an impressive 61 points in 79 games. Brindamore was traded to the Philadelphia Flyers in 1991 and became a vital part of their lineup. Known for his leadership, durability, and defensive abilities, Brindamore was often matched up against top lines in a shutout. Brindamore was often matched up against top lines in a shutdown role while contributing offensively. During his tenure with the Flyers, Brindamore consistently produced around 60 to 80 points per season, with his best output being 97 points during the 93-94 season. He played a key role in helping the Flyers reach the Stanley Cup Finals in 1997, although they did lose to the Red Wings in the Finals. Rod Brindamore had a strong career during his time with the Flyers, spanning from 1991 to 1999. In the regular season, Brindamore tallied 235 goals, 366 assists, and 601 points in 605 games. In the playoffs, he appeared in 51 games, tallying 21 goals, 25 assists, and 46 points. Brindamore was traded to the Carolina Hurricanes in 2000, where he became captain in 2005. Brindamore's time with the Carolina Hurricanes from 2000 to 2010 was the pinnacle of his career in terms of leadership and overall impact. Rod played a key role in the Hurricanes' deep playoff runs, especially in 2002 and 2006. He played a crucial role in leading the team to his first ever Stanley Cup victory in 2006. During his tenure with the Hurricanes, Brindamore was a consistent offensive contributor, one of the best shutdown forwards, and one of the best faceoff specialists in the game. His leadership, defensive prowess, and work ethic earned him the Frank J. Selke Trophy as one of the league's best defensive forwards in both 2006 and 2007. Brindamore's leadership and defensive excellence were crucial to the success of the Hurricanes during this period, and his legacy in Carolina is cemented as one of the franchise's greatest players. In his career with the Canes, Brindamore scored 174 goals, 299 assists, and 473 points in 694 games during the regular season. He also had 20 goals, 23 assists, and 43 points in 72 playoff games. By the time his playing career ended in 2010, Brindamore had played in 1,484 career regular season games while scoring 452 goals, 732 assists, and 1,184 career points. His playoff stats are equally as impressive he accumul as he accumulated 51 goals as he accumulated 51 goals, 60 assists, and 111 points in 159 career playoff games. Why should Rod Brindamore be in the Hall of Fame? Rod Brindamore has a strong case for induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame based on his remarkable playing career, leadership, and impact on the game. Brindamore had a 21-season playing career in the NHL. His consistent production, particularly as a two-way forward, kept him relevant for over two decades. His ability to maintain high level of play over a long period of time speaks to his durability and effectiveness. Beyond statistics, Brindamore was known for his leadership, work ethic, and professionalism. He served as captain of the Hurricanes for five seasons from 2005 to 2010, embodying the qualities of a team leader both on and off the ice. His dedication to fitness and conditioning earned him the nickname Rod the Bod, setting an example for his teammates throughout his career. His ability to motivate and lead by example has had a lasting impact on his teammates, particularly in Carolina. Rod Brindamore was one of the best defensive forwards of his generation. His defensive play combined with his offensive capabilities made him one of the most complete players of his era. He was a master of faceoffs, finishing his career with a 58% face-off win percentage, often being trusted in crucial defensive and offensive zone situations. Rod was one of the most 
respected trade forwards in the league during his career, playing a key role in both offensive and defensive situations. Brindamore is highly regarded as one of the best two-way forwards in history and as one of the most respected leaders, especially for his work ethic and leadership both on and off the ice. Though his playing career alone justifies his candidacy, Brindamore's post-playing career as head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes further elevated his stature. He has transformed the Hurricanes into a perennial contender since taking over as head coach in 2018. In 2021, he won the Jack Adams Award as the NHL's Coach of the Year. While coaching is not a direct factor in the player's Hall of Fame induction, his ongoing influence in the game strengthens his overall legacy. Rod Brindamore's blend of individual accomplishments, leadership, two-way excellence, and postseason success makes him a deserving candidate for the Hockey Hall of Fame.